up you guys welcome back to my channel today is a little bit different I just really felt in the mood to film and I really wanted to eat this bomb ass salad so I thought it would be fun to film a eat with me kind of video so if you want to go ahead and get a snack do that girl cuz it is 8 44 on a Sunday night so this is my Sunday night practically. I have been so obsessed with eating this salad because and only because of this tahini goddess dressing that I got from Aldi. It is so freaking good. I can't even explain it. I'm not like huge on salads, but wow. And I think I talked about this in my what I eat in a day video. Actually, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. So if you haven't seen that video, Go ahead, click the link down below. I'll also put it up here somewhere. If you want any food recipe ideas or you want to know what I eat as a 19 year old vegan, go ahead, click that video and watch it. My salad has romaine lettuce, avocado, a little bit of red bell pepper, garbanzo beans, carrots, some yellow squash that I cut up into like halves, some cute, no, this is zucchini. Some zucchini that I also cut up, cut up into halves, and um, black pepper, nutritional yeast, and avocado because you can't go wrong with avocado. Avocado should be in every single food you eat, in my opinion. Mm. This is probably not the best idea to film this kind of video because I feel like I'm such a messy eater. Like it's not even funny. Also, I went to work today, hence why my hair is in a bun. My hair's not even in a bun, it's in a ponytail, duh. But anyways, I went to work today and it was, it's so nasty outside right now. Like it's been raining all day. My hair was not working with me. It's really poofy. If I let this thing down, you would see, and then you would click away. <laughs> I just put it up in a ponytail and called it a day and went off to work. Fun fact, this is a pajama top that I got from my work. But it's so cute that I was like, I can wear that out. No one's going to know. And it's super soft, so. I'm still waiting to hear complaints. The salad is so good. Like, I don't understand. I feel so healthy eating this. <laughs> I never eat salad, so it's just so weird. And also, I'm not a big, like, raw food kind of person. Like, I like my food cooked, especially my vegetables. But there's just something about this dressing, man. Tahini has got me. It's got me good. I feel weird eating something raw, even if it's a vegetable. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm kind of trying to get out of my comfort zone and try different things, so this is really, really good. I was almost, almost about to put broccoli in this, and then I stopped myself because I thought, maybe I'm going too far. I went to the High Museum on Saturday, and it was just so interesting to see these really old paintings from, like, the 1400s. And seeing these portraits of people that were alive back then it's it just kind of blows my mind a little bit to think that there are people you know living like that back then and like those paintings aren't just someone's imagination like that was an actual real life breathing living person their memory or their existence basically is captured in that one painting they didn't even have photographs back then we take pictures nowadays of everything like we're in an era where we take pictures of practically every little thing that we see every single day and to think like back then in the 1400s in the 15 16 17 1800s like they didn't have photographs they couldn't just whip out a camera and take a selfie you know what i mean Can you imagine birthdays or monumental steps in your life, like when you first talked or when you first walked or I don't know, just anything monumental, your first day of school. There weren't photographs for those people. Those people didn't have those moments captured on like this little glossy sheet of paper. And it's just wild to think that we take that for granted. And it's such a weird thought. Like, can you imagine not taking pictures of your childhood 
Like, I love going through our childhood pictures. I love it all the time. Like, we have this huge big box in my parents' closet, and we just keep all of our childhood, like, memorabilia and, like, our grades and stuff like that, like, our awards that we got and pictures from our family. That's another thing, too. Like, me being from Argentina, the only real way I can like other than like the internet but that that's also includes pictures like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and stuff if you move far away from your family at that time period in like the 1400s or whatever like you didn't have a way of knowing how they grew up how they aged up and it's it's such a weird weird thought like you're so disconnected from the world but I guess that that was normal to them I guess they didn't think too much of it because pictures back then didn't even really exist. Only portraits. I have to like tilt my bowl to show you guys like <laughs> what I'm eating. And also, to point out the obvious, yes, this is a mixing bowl. The salads that I make when I make them are really really large and I don't have a bowl that's large enough to fit my salad so I have to put it in a little mixing bowl but it's cool because I eventually want to go to Target one day and get like a little wooden bowl I think that would be really fun or I think that would be really cute and also to like eat banana ice cream like out of a wooden or bamboo bowl so cute with like a little wooden spoon ah my dream Is that weird that I'm 19 years old and one of my dreams is to eat banana ice cream out of a wooden bowl? <laughs> what a small dream to have. Oh my god, this has a little bit of avocado. Oh, I'm so excited. Mmm. Avocado is so freaking good. I could literally eat like five avocados in one day. Maybe one sitting. Anyone else like that? Another thing that I like about art museums is that it was my first time going, so that was a really cool experience, but it allows you to see a different perspective of life and like, I feel like you look at things through a different window than what you originally were. Because you see these things like on a computer screen. Obviously we have pictures of like famous paintings, but like when you see it in person, when you see like a physical painting in person by an artist, you take into account like the dedication and the time that it took them to make it and it just, it blows my mind. I love watching like these kinds of videos. We would just like eat and talk about their day. Is that weird? Ooh, a chickpea. Is that weird that we're like entertained by watching people eat? But like in real life, like if we go out and eat with a friend, like that's not, I feel like it's so different. Maybe it's because it's a stranger and you get to watch a stranger eat and talk about their day. And it's like completely disconnected from yours you know because i watched trisha paytas's videos <laughs> i've just fallen in love with just like watching her eat random crap and it's funny because i see her eating all of this crazy food most of it is not vegan but like when she eats like pizza and stuff or like french fries oh my gosh i'm literally sitting in my bed watching her video and i'm like i need to eat this right now like and she like motivates me or like inspires me to eat pizza i just want to eat it with her it's weird it's such a weird little thing or thought but she's also so entertaining i like I watch a vegan YouTuber 
and her name is Eden Jacks. And she makes like what I eat in a day, but she like talks through it. And so her videos are like 50, 40 minutes long. Oh my gosh, all this food is like falling out. She just talks about her day and she shows you what she eats and it's beautiful. It's just so entertaining. I'm like getting down to the bottom of my salad. There's no more greens. All that's left are like chickpeas and like carrots and a couple pieces of squash and stuff. It's also a little bit cold. I live like downstairs and like it gets really cold in my room. And so I usually have the heater on. My dad like got a new heater like a while back. But I like I wasn't going to mention it in a video because why would you want to know that my dad got me a new heater? But I used to have like this really small one and like when I turned it on it would be like Brrr. And so he got me a new one that's like a little bit bigger and it's like so much nicer because I turn it on and it makes no sound. So like I can make videos and like you can't even hear it in the back and I can be warm and not freeze to death. Oh my gosh, why didn't I show you this before? I'm wearing my new socks. I got these from Old Navy. Look at how cute! Oh my gosh, they're like, they have little bananas on them. They're so freaking cute. I got like this little pack of socks from Old Navy because I had a gift card. And all of the socks are like fruit or like little vegetables or whatever. I saw it online because originally I was gonna buy it online because I think there's like a sale going on if you bought it online. I had like all these little designs and I saw the fruit socks and I was like, I need those in my life. <laughs> also, this is just water. One of my really good friends, Javier, he's been in a lot of my videos. So I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. But anyways, he gave me a Fitbit for Christmas. He gave me like his old one. On the Fitbit app that you can install onto your phone that like can monitor your heart rate. It can like track how long you sleep and you can like track how much water you take. And like one of my new year's resolutions is to make sure that I drink enough water. I wanna drink more and I should drink more. It motivates me to drink more water because I see how far I am to completing my daily water intake goal, which I think is like, 84 fluid ounces and this water bottle has like 20 fluid ounces and so I always make sure to drink enough water Because it's so important Like you don't realize it But like your body is made out of like what 75% water and so when you don't give your body enough water like your Body starts reacting. I think we can go like a week without food but we can only go like three days without drinking any water because we literally like shrivel up and die. Hmm. I wonder how I'm gonna edit this. This video is like pretty chill. <laughs> like nothing has happened <laughs> other than me eating my salad. I feel like the, the climax of this video is gonna be when I finish it. And like that's the ending. <laughs> I'm curious to see if I'm gonna regret having filmed this um, and just watching it back through footage and realize like how nasty I chew and swallow my food. <laughs> That was it. I finished it, guys. It was so good. 10 out of 10 would eat it again. Probably will tomorrow afternoon for lunch. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed eating your little snack that you ate along with me. At least I hope you ate a snack with me because, well, because why not? Thank you so much for watching this video. I just burped. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know down below if you liked this kind of video or if you didn't. I hope that you did like it and I hope that in the future like I can do more of these and talk about, you know, kind of more serious topics or 
things that are going on in my life, I think it would be a really nice like way to just catch up with each other. Thank you for listening to me rambling on about my day and weird little thoughts that I have in my head. Um, I hope to see you guys again next time. I was about to say have a good day, like have a wonderful day. Like you know when you talk to someone on the phone and you're like, okay, hey, bye, have a good day. It's not like that. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.